This is part four from my Cardiac Dysrhythmia Interpretation book, and this part begins about page 34. And uh, in this section, I want to talk about the graph paper. Because in order to uh, be able to interpret ECG rhythms, you have to understand what the graph paper represents. I'm also going to talk very briefly about uh, paper speed with your uh, cardiac monitor. So if, if we look at the graph paper, first of all, with um, cardiac rhythm interpretation, so specifically interpreting heart rhythms, not looking at 12 lead ECGs, but heart rhythms, everything that we analyze is really on uh, in reference to time. So heart rate calculation is a time reference, PR interval is a time reference, QRS duration, QT intervals, all of those things are time related. And time is measured on the horizontal plane on, on the graph paper, as opposed to a 12 lead ECG where we're looking at things on the vertical axis. So for example, ST changes above the baseline, below the baseline, those are vertical changes. But for rhythm interpretation, we're interested in the time reference in the horizontal plane. So the graph paper is uh, divided into dark five millimeter squares, and those are further subdivided into single uh, millimeter squares that we can see here. And each millimeter, uh, in terms of time is equal to 0 0.04 second or 40 milliseconds. So two small squares, uh, multiply that two would be 0.8 second, three would be 0.12 second, four millimeters would be 0.16 second exactly, and five squares would be 0.2 second. Now I added the zero here only because four multiplied by five is 20. So for my mathematically challenged mind, it's just easier to think 0 0.02 or 0 0.20 second or 0 0.20 second. Um, 0 0.20 second is the same thing as uh, 200 milliseconds. So uh, that's a graph paper. That's uh, the, the time that they represent. Fairly straightforward. Now, if we look at paper speed, standard paper speed for a cardiac monitor is 25 millimeters per second. And um, this is not something we have to worry about a whole lot, but if you have a monitor where your your battery is getting low or the monitor is, mal monitor is malfunctioning, then the paper speed may become altered. And if paper, paper speed becomes altered, then it alters your heart rate calculation, and that's a problem. So the gold standard for calculating heart rate is to take a pulse. Obviously, you know, the patient is more important than the ECG or the monitor, but so we, we take a pulse and our objective is uh, to ensure that what we're feeling in the pulse matches the cardiac monitor or the heart rate that we calculate using the ECG monitor. Now, uh, I also mentioned the paper speed because some monitors give you the option of altering the, or changing the paper speed from 25 to 50 millimeters per second. And you usually see those in, in monitors in the hospital, the larger heart rate uh, or the larger cardiac monitors rather than the transport monitors. And the, the, the benefit or the, the, the rationale for having uh, the ability to adjust the paper speed up to 50 millimeters would be, for example, if you had a newborn, uh, newborns typically have a very fast heart rate, and when the heart rate is very fast, the QRS, T waves, and P waves all become scrunched together, and it may be difficult to clearly uh, disseminate, or not disseminate, but to clearly see the P waves. So if you adjust the paper speed to 50 millimeters per second, it has the effect of basically cutting the heart rate in half so it spreads everything out and you can see the P waves, T, uh, QRS complexes and T waves more clearly. So most transport monitors don't have that option but I thought I would just mention that out of interest.